Hello, I am Henry John Griffin. This is a video, and today I'm going to be talking to you about mind viruses and how they are really, really bad. Now, a lot of the times, I don't try to debate what mind viruses are. We get what mind viruses are. So if we try to debate the mind virus situation, then probably... There shouldn't even be videos about mind viruses, period. But for songs, it's totally different. It's okay to have those songs. But what I need to get on to is that we then uh, come closer to the concept of hacking and all these things like app makers not working. So you, you in the mental computer, get in the, both get in the red zone, and you put your mental computer in danger by trying to use app maker to create apps. And when you get mad that app maker is not working, that could force you to force other people to be, to force other people to talk about computers, and you could be forcing other people to talk to you. However, I try to permit this because I don't want setup answers. Now, the next time I came outside to play, it's because I don't want my phone to tell me that it's overloaded or that it has a low battery. Because from all the other mind viruses, we need to be careful when we uh, use our app makers on our mobile devices because makers on our mobile devices instead of doing it in our imagination we are going to experience some mind viruses and some other problems as well so if the app maker on our mobile device gives us paypal or it prompts us to pay we are going to experience mind viruses and all the other problems that mind viruses can cause. If we are not on the lookout to what we could be doing, we could be damaging our own network, if you will. We could be damaging our networks, even in pretend, even in make-believe. So what I have here is a play phone that acts like a brain. So anyways, this probably is very more complex than a mechanical computer, than any other mechanical device you would find. And on the play phone, only use App Maker on this device. The way to protect yourself from such mind viruses is Go to, imagine yourself going to the settings with the device. And I will talk to you about what I got to do. Imagine going to the settings and then uh, tapping your Wi-Fi and then um, enabling your security, your firewall, to make sure that your network and your computer is both protected from such viruses that get in and cause problems on machines and networks. Well, we just permitted the access through the security settings and we did see a firewall option. And you also got troubleshoot problems. So if you are losing connection on your mental computer or your play phone then th then that means that your play phone is experiencing connectivity issues or it probably does or if it has a virus it's not going to it's not going to um show that it's connected to the internet but if your play phone is connected to the internet then your play phone disconnects from the internet due to a virus that you have on your play phone. And if you are having a lot of problems like downloading negative programs on it, the same way you would do in your mind, you would download a negative program. You should be careful with that. 
because you would mess up you your you would wake up all messed up. It's like turning on a computer that's all messed up that was perhaps infected with a virus. You would turn the computer on to see what happened to it. To see what happened to your computer. You one day turn it on and then all of your files and all of your data, including your credit cards, your bank account, and your personal information has been put at risk by an unknown hacker who even hacked into the Starbucks Wi-Fi or McDonald's. When the Wi-Fi wasn't encrypted, or it had no password, it was not password protected, and it was an unsecure network. And you don't ever trust an open network. Well, just as you can do on a pretend phone, your mental computer has an imagination, and we can have the ability to imagine things just different from these devices. Our mental computers now imagine things, but we can also make believe or pretend we're hacking into the neighbor's Wi-Fi because we're upset that our app maker is not working. That's why we don't use app maker on those on a machine computer or any sort of app inventor unless if you're choosing to get upset when you're not getting the answer that you want. Now less that there are now I just said it. Now there are other things besides computers. Like you can paint, you can talk about paintings, drawing pictures, you could be fixed, you could be interested in anything. Anything is interesting. You could be interested in computers, you could be interested in video games, you could be interested in paintings, creativity, and even outside grass, and you could even talk about nature and plants and grass. As you can see, um, the mental computer in our brain is all things. And as you can see, we are all things. And we are all things that we can um, learn about. We can learn about anything. Anything that we learn about is basically processed in our brain. And when we learn something, we begin to take in that information and store the information into our memory just like a computer. Now you store the information into your memory and then you begin to retrieve it and, 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 and use it and have that take place in your encoding process. Now the same thing with setup answers. When grandma gave me a setup answer, I had to erase it. I couldn't erase it because I didn't have a network connection. And those files, you can only access those, you can only access those file downloads online. This means you had to be connected to the internet to access those files and corrupt those files and infect those files with viruses. As you can see, the corrupt button only could work when you are connected to the internet or if you are connected, or how I made my, how I designed my play phone, the corrupt button can work only when you're either connected to the internet or when you're connected to Wi-Fi, but no internet. You're, you're, you're connected to an unsecure network with no internet access. So that means you will still be transmitting data, and you will still be installing a virus onto your system when being disconnected, when being connected to no Wi-Fi, but having no internet access, if you will. You then start to go across connection failures once your operating system is in trouble. If you're not protected by a password on your Wi-Fi router, you could experience more problems that are even worse. You could get a virus, or your computer and data could, be, could crash, and you would experience lots of bad problems such as identity theft, data loss, if you don't have encryption on your network.